today on Torch TV. We take a look at our very own show choir and their past performances and results and what more they have to offer. Also on Torch TV, this month is CTE month and we bring you what C4 has to offer and what it can do to change and prepare you for your future. All that and more on Torch TV. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to East Media Studios and this edition of Torch TV. I'm your host, Avalon Henriksen, alongside me is Ethan Carr. How are you feeling today, Ethan? I'm feeling energized. I got a good night's sleep last night, and I have a feeling it's going to be a great day. As Avalon and I are both vaccinated, we are able to have our masks off for the show today. We'll begin today with some breaking news. BCSC is severely cutting down on contact tracing. Here's Ryland Perkins with more. After winter break, BCSC made changes to the COVID-19 contact tracing system. There was confusion among students and parents regarding the new system, so last week I spoke with East nurse April Dottery about the changes that were implemented over break. While that story was being developed, the then implemented, they then implemented an entirely new system, abandoning the contact tracing system altogether. These changes came into effect February 2nd, along with a statement released by the county. Let's take a look. Here is the statement released by BCSC on the night of February 1st, posted on the official website and sent out via email to BCSC families. Here are some of the key points. Exposure in a classroom setting has been changed to an exposure during the school day. This does not include extracurricular activities. All close contacts will stay at school regardless of vaccination status. When a positive case occurs, a notification will be sent out to parents of all students in the classroom. Back to you. February is Career and Technical Education Month. The C4 program gives students the unique opportunity to take hands-on classes with more in-depth learning experiences. C4 is BCSE's career and technical education classes. The purpose of the fair is to bring in new students, whether it's from elementary school or middle school, into C4 and introduce them to all the different classes. The people who are coming today are actually students who will be attending Columbus East or Columbus North next year. Um, they'll be eligible to start taking C4 classes with us and we want them to get excited about um, what their future holds. There are a lot of different C4 classes. I believe even this morning, Dr. Hack told us there were really over 100 classes. We have 25 booths available. Within each booth, there are usually three or four classes, but we offer a lot of options within C4. My favorite thing about C4 is that every teacher that participates in the program all have experience outside of the school and in the workforce of what they're teaching. Uh, my goal with C4 is that every student can come out of high school feeling confident, hopefully knowing what they want to do, but even if they've tried a couple things and learned what they don't want to do, I feel like that is a success as well. C4 has really benefited me. I've been able to take every single class in the program and it's helped me realize that business is what I want to go into in the future. So ultimately, I want each student to come out of high school confident in their future, and knowing that C4 played a small role in that is pretty satisfying. C4 classes provide an opportunity for students to dive into the careers they're interested in. With so many classes available to C4 students, everyone is sure to find a field they are interested in. Roles for the Little Prince will be announced at 3.15, which is the first step to the performance uh, of the play in April. All of the boxes. These performances will take place April 22nd at 7, the 23rd at 7, and the 24th at 2.30. Tickets, tickets and information will be available soon. BCSE's custodial department is starting a new program employing students to work in our elementary school buildings. Interested students can find the posting on the BCSE's website under Join BCSE and apply for a job. Coming up on Torch TV, we look back on the winter preview show for our BCSU show choir and speak to a senior soloist for a deeper dive into the show choir experience. 
By talking to some important members of the C4 departments, we investigate how our technical programs can help students get a head start on their future career. Hey there, you have your driver's license on you? Can you give it to me, please? You've been drinking? Why don't you step out of the car here for me? Our show recently had their our, our show choir recently had their preview show. They combined with the North show choirs to learn more about each other and to create a bigger and better show. Here's Emma Burns with more. A recent tradition for BCSC has become a combined concert for the East and North show choirs in a preview show that happened late January. Let's take a look. The Columbus East show choir is up and running with one full competition under their belts. But that competition is not what sparked the beginning of their season. I thought they did very well. It's hard for me to say because I'm back with the band, so I don't get to see everything so I can just sort of see what's happening from, from behind. The event not only helps them improve their singing and dancing, but also helps them get used to the environment of a competition. Uh, it's awesome that we get to have like an experience on stage before we're <laughs> in front of judges and to have an audience with us. I think it's just nice to have kind of a dry run before we're actually judged. Uh, it really lights a fire under us to get the show ready and that is so important to um, go out and do it and also see the north groups and um, sort of see how prepared we are compared to them and it's also a kind of a nice community experience. The perspective of coach and teacher is much different than performing in the bright lights of the stage. However, the students equally understand the advantage of a preview show. I like to be able to get a feel for what it's like to perform with a group before we actually go on stage for a full competition. Um, it helps us understand what we need to look out for and fix. I'm hoping to improve on our overall energy as a group. Um, I think we have everything that we need to have down, it's just adding that extra spark. The goal of the event is not only to practice and overcome obstacles, but to have fun working and encouraging others in the community. I love that Mr. Bud and I have a good relationship, that we can share stuff like this and we can support each other with this. It was wonderful getting to work with the East Choir. We always love to see their show every year. We love to come out and support them and them support us and it was really amazing getting to see their show. Them cheering for us made us feel very good as well, so it was kind of us feeding off of each other's positive energies. All of our Columbus show choirs have had a great start to their season, with North placing second in their first competition at Lebanon High in Indiana, and Columbus East and Mount Zion, Illinois placing sixth in the finals. This is the first time Columbus East has made it to the finals in another state, so great job center stage making history at a tough competition. Emma, when can we see center stage perform again? That's a great question, Ethan. Center Stage competes their show again this weekend at Plainfield. I wish them the best of luck and make sure to go out and support your fellow Olympians. Anyone interested in running track for the East girls team, practice begins Monday after school, February 14th. The team will meet in front of the guidance office at 3.30. If you have any questions, contact Coach Show in room 308. Columbus East High School celebrates its 50 year anniversary this year. As a part of the celebration, the Columbus East Alumni Association is making an up-to-date database. This would allow the association to make announcements about reunions, Alumni Hall of Fame nominations, and other important Olympiad news and events. Columbus Area Career Connection, commonly known as C4, has a multitude of opportunities that students can take advantage of to get ahead. Over 3,000 four students are taking C4 classes from various schools like North, East, CSA, and many more. Unlike other classes, C4 utilizes real work work or inside the classroom, giving students a first-hand experience in their future careers.
There are also many other ways C4 helps students get ahead with their education. They offer more dual credit than both North and East combined and programs in which students will work for businesses in order to hone their skills. This week was a big week for our sports teams. Sophomore Abby, jo Abby Jones joins us in the studio with more. Thanks, Ethan. Starting off, last weekend, the wrestling team came out on top being the regional champions. Be sure to wish them good luck for this Saturday, where they will compete at semi-state. Congrats to both Ellie Prophet and Gabby Meyer for making it to state for swimming and diving. Ellie placed first in the 50-yard freestyle for swimming, and Gabby made it on the podium for diving. Congrats and good luck to you guys. Tonight, boys JV and varsity basketball will play against Jennings County here at East. JV starts at 6, and varsity will follow at 7.30. They also play tomorrow, Freshman Bedf at Bedford North Lawrence and JV at Varsity here at East. JV starting again at 6 and Varsity will follow at 7.30. That's the lineup we've got for this weekend. Make sure to show up and support your O's. And good luck to all the athletes who will play this weekend. Back to you guys. That's all we have for today. From Avalon, Abby, and the rest of the Torch TV crew, I'm Ethan Carr, and thank you for watching Torch TV. And as always, try to be the best part of someone's day.